Today I am coming up with a thulium fiber laser end block resection of bladder tumor of a large bladder tumor of 5.5 cm size involving the right anterior lateral wall along with some part of the floor and it is nearly involving the right ureteric orifice. Patient is a 65 year old male patient. He is a chronic smoker came to us with on and off hematuria for last three weeks or so. On ultrasonography, uh, we diagnosed the patient of having a bladder cancer. So we plan to go ahead with cystoscopy followed by transurethral resection of bladder tumor. We are doing end block resection of bladder tumor with thulium fiber laser for last three years or so. Earlier, we used to do smaller tumor for end block resection of bladder tumor, but we are taking up larger and larger tumors with this beautiful technique and this is the case where we took the largest size of 5.5 centimeter size bladder tumor and we could completely remove the tumor and block resection in one single piece by using one joule and 20 hertz energy long pulse and as it was a big tumor we needed to remove the tumor after end block resection by unit drive 3 cal stores morcillator. Let's see the video. Patient under spinal anesthesia in lithotomy position. We did the cystoscopy as you could see a polypoidal mass involving the right lateral wall of urinary bladder and here you can see the ureteric orifice it is very close to the ureteric orifice as uh, i have already told you that the energy we kept at one joule 20 hertz with long pulse and you can see we are using a 600 micron fiber which is coming out of the laser working element we are using a 26 french size Iglesias continuous irrigating seat with cal stores 30 degree cystoscope. So we mark all around the visible tumor 5 to 5 millimeter to 1 centimeter away from the visible tumor margin. Then we start elevating the tumor by incising at the margin and going up to the detrusor muscle. We, when we incise, we need to go to the level of the detrusor muscle and, and once we get the plan, then gradually we start elevating the mass mechanically from the detrusor muscle and then we get the plan of resection and we start dividing the tumor from the, as you can see now, the detrusor muscle is visible now and we are elevating the mass from the detrusor muscle. That bluish, bluish structure is the detrusor muscle and you can see so beautifully it can be resected out from the base. We do not encounter bleeding, we, we do not encounter any, any obturator jerk which is a difficult situation while doing a transuretral resection of bladder tumor using monopolar cautery and that may lead to sudden jerk may lead to perforation of the bladder which we do not get in end block resection of bladder tumor using laser energy here you can see that we are resecting the tumor out from the tumor bed and by mechanically elevating the tumor as you can see we are gradually progressing superiorly as it is a big tumor so we could not mark the margin on the superior side so we started inoculating the tumor from the lateral side and from the from the distal side so here you can see that it is so beautifully coming out from the detrusor muscle here the muscle fiber is so well visible so this is the actually depth this is a limit of uh, the deep limit of the resection here you can see that while, while gradually taking out the tumor and growing uh, going proximally we could see the margin 
and 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 gradually we we start giving the marking on the superior lateral side also so by doing n block resection it has lots of advantages as i have already uh, explained that there is no optotrazac there is no bleeding and you can see that tumor is coming out from the detrusor muscle at the same time we do not compromise the oncological safety of cutting through the tumor which theoretically may lead to tumor implantation and more contact time of the tumor tissue with the urinary bladder mucosa on the, of the other part of the bladder here as we are completely elevating it so we are not compromising the tumor uh, oncological safety also because it will be coming out in one single end block resection so there there should be less chance of implantation of the tumor tissue to the bladder or to the urethra and in in our last few cases we are not even uh, using irrigation by uh, putting just a two way catheter so we are avoiding it post-operative irrigation also so we are just putting a two-way catheter and we are asking the patient to go home same day so we are doing all the end block resection of bladder tumor by using trillium fiber laser as daycare procedure so we'll, we'll remove the catheter after 48 hours patient will go home the same day after 48 hours they will come for removal of the catheter a tumor of less than three centimeters size most of the time comes out with the elic evacuator or sometimes we may need to cut through the tumor into two or three pieces by using the same laser fiber but if the tumor is more than three centimeter or this big size uh, we, we usually use a morcillator to take out the tissues this is the completion of the procedure you can see the whole tumor bed is such a big tumor and it uh, so beautifully we can take it out from the from the tumor bed here you can see the tressor muscle all around no bleeding at all a few pinpoint oozing site if we see we can coagulate immediately with the the same laser setting of one joule and 20 hertz once we are satisfied with the hemostasis will 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 change the scope for a uh, morcellation here some uh, oozing is visible where we will activate the laser fiber and you can see so beautifully even the oozing also can be stopped with the activation of the laser fiber with this same setting same setting of energy 1 joule 20 watt frequency here we have changed the scope to a uh, Calstor's Unidive 3 Morcillator and it took us nearly one minute or so for morcellation of the tumor. During morcellation the bladder should be full. You can see so effectively the morcellation is done that completes the procedure complete morcellation is being done that completes the procedure and once we are satisfied with the hemostasis and complete morcellation is done after that we'll put a two-way catheter we'll shift the patient to recovery room for uh, two to four hours time after that the patient will resume some liquid diet and after six hours or so we'll let the patient go home uh, to uh, with uh, advice to come up after 48 hours for removal of the catheter. Thank you.